Which alternate dimension has the best snacks? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Yeah, we're back. It's a new year and a brand new season. <laughs> 17. We're working up 17 of these. And instead of making resolutions that we'll actively avoid just like I avoid overzealous sales clerks working on commission at a sock store, oh, okay. we're funneling all of our resolve into traveling through the multiverse to test a whole bunch of completely original and otherworldly snacks. That's right, it's time for part three of Multiverse Munchie. Okay, as previously stated on this show, we believe that if we can think of something, anything at all, then it must be an actual thing in some parallel dimension. That's the multiverse, or at least one understanding thereof. That's our understanding. So we have reached deep into that multiverse vortex to find new, hitherto unheard of snacks and brought them back to this dimension for a little taste. And our mission is to decide if that multiverse munchie is from a delicious dimension mm -hmm. or if it's a snack offension. And let's start with Hershey's Kisses. Look at these little things. You know them, you might love them. There they are in our universe, but we have traveled to the universe where everyone's more romantic than a baguette and a beret. These are Hershey's French Kisses. Okay, so let's open these up and reveal. Um, I think I know what it might be. What they have in this alternate dimension. You, pu you pull the flag. Be careful. Oh, be careful? Don't break them, be gentle with them. I've been storing up so much energy over the holidays. Been trying to, oh, look at that. Unleash it on y'all. That, that is quite a Hershey tongue. Oh yeah, now, oh gosh, that is disturbing. Why, why are you leaning towards me? I just want you to get a good look at it. <laughs> Man, that's good. Um, got a little, got a little wet on the end there. So, so in this, there's like a little bit of fuzz on my, so in this alternate, in mouth, man. <laughs> alternate dimension, you kind of look like Gene Simmons, the chocolate version. With a, maybe with the like, he stuck it. You know what, Gene Simmons went to the Dairy Queen and said, I want you to dip my tongue. He should do that. He should do, he should do a collab with Dairy Queen. Mm, that tastes where good. Where he just goes and sticks his tongue in the chocolate. <laughs> and maybe it's too late for that. Maybe that would have been like a, a 93 kind of thing. So. You want to touch tongues? <laughs> I, I think that's I think that's what the crew is hoping for, but that doesn't mean we need to do it. No, do it. I mean, but they're like, all over there, like, so what's wrong with you people? But here, here, but here's the thing, Link. If we do this, if we put these giant chocolate tongues in our mouths and we touch the tips, just the tips, then we will start 2020 off with a, with a, with what the people want, man. Listen, my face has been closer to you than my face is gonna be. These are some long tongues, man. Well, we do need to commemorate, commemorate the start of a new season yeah, somehow. Season 17, Mine man. Is two friends touching tongue tips. Chocolate tongue tips, mm -hmm. not actual tongue tips. Just a, just a tip. Jink it. Why is your wet on the end? <laughs> drink it and drink it. And then you just bite it. Mm. Bite right through it. Oh, you took the whole tongue in? <laughs> oh! Now you wanna touch my tip? I don't like this universe, but you know what? It tastes really good. I like chocolate. Ooh. I hate that though, so I think I'm gonna call this a snack of fish. Snack of fish. Sorry. sorry. We want to remind you real quick, the new Mythical Kitchen channel has posted a video today. Yes. So go over there and check it out, get a first look at that brand new Mythical Kitchen. Yeah, and a brand new channel. So subscribe to it, click that bell. Multiple videos coming out every week. Mythical food creations. Okay, in this universe, we've got, oh, I like you're I doing got, a little clean. I got like chocolate tongue remnants. Okay. Well, bring in the corn nuts because that's what we have here. Uh, crunchy toasted corn kernels. But in this next universe, they don't know about corn nuts. They only know Nut corns, <laughs> and after the French kisses, you're wondering, okay, what are nut corns? Uh, these are nut corns. You get yourself a cob. I got a cob. And look, when you when you peel back the cob in this universe, it's it's nuts. It's peanuts on the cob. So what you're telling look me at that. is that in this universe. The only real difference is that peanuts grow in cobs. Yeah. Do they also then they don't have corn 
or does corn grow like peanuts? And you gotta take two little corns out of a little peanut shell. Is that how multiverses works? All I know is that this seems amazing and all you gotta do is just dink it and bite into it. I think this is the universe that but, Freddie Mercury's from. But there's a whole, there's a whole. Uh, oh yeah, you can. Bu- there's a butter butter brush. You can, over you there. can slather it because they still do that in that universe. Oh my gosh! They got butter brushes. Butter on peanuts on the cob. Would you like me to brush your cob? Yeah. <laughs> Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'd, I'd still like some salt and pepper too, but I'll try that later. I think they're salted already. Huh. What's that? Something real bitter. Bitter. Is that the glue that you glued them on there with it? <laughs> Maybe. Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. Do you like it? Uh, <laughs> um, even with the butter, it's still bitter. Even Ooh. with the butter, it's still much better. Yeah. It's much better without the. I can imagine it would be better if it wasn't so bitter with the butter. Yeah. But it'd be better. How much it, better would it be if it wasn't butter? If how much better would it be if it wasn't butter because it has butter on it? Well, buddy, it would be a lot better <laughs> if there was no butter or there was no glue. I, I think you, the glue is the problem. I bet you if the butter wasn't bitter, then it can overcome the bitterness on the, on the, on the corn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm get, I was really, I was really excited about this. Yeah. Mm. You know, it looks good, and that's what this life's all about. <laughs> Looking good. It doesn't have to be good. It's not as good as I hoped. It, <clears throat> mm. It's bad. It's bad. I was hoping this would be good. We got to we got to tweak the recipe a little bit. You know, but we can only get so close because in the other universe, the bitter universe, this this glue is probably not bitter. It probably just is normal. And we had to do an approximation. If you take that into account. You want to take that into account? Because I really want this to be a snack, a delicious dimension. I think this has a lot of promise, so we're going to go with gusto and say that this is a delicious, delicious dimension. dimension. Let's be honest, kids can be pests. Dennis, for example, was a menace. Right. And getting rid of those little buggers can be difficult. But in this next universe, they may be onto something when it comes to pesky kid control, and they're doing it with snacks. Yes, they have Cool Raid. Because in this universe, Kool Aid and Raid merged, and this is what happened. Yeah, this is just plain old Raid, which I'm not going to. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this because there's no Kool-Aid in it and I don't wanna drink it by accident. It says on the back, use this product to remove unwanted children. This is something that could be very, very handy for, for me. I, oh know, yeah. Daddy likes to be alone. And uh, <laughs> Daddy usually has to go into the restroom and close the door to be alone. But now I can just spray this on my children. You can just Kool-Raid it. Of but of course, course on, on people, uh, adult people like us, it should have no effect. Shall I demonstrate? <laughs> I don't feel a thing. Nothing. Not phasing me. Not phasing me either. Is there a real raid in this? I hope not. I think it's just Kool Aid. <sighs> it does sting the eyes a little bit, though. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that, just sting the eyes a little bit. Uh, but there is no lingering children odor, which is very nice. And you know what, there's no I'm children. I'm in love with this. As a dad, I endorse this. I'm on the same page, so we are declaring Cool Raid a delicious dimension. dimension. You may remember when we traveled to the universe that has sour patches for kids. You gotta put, put your lips together and suck. Like, make them, there you go, there you go. Close the top lip. Do it again. You gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta close it on it. Sometimes I think it's better to not be reminded about what we do on this show. <laughs> it's like, you, do you really need to know that that happened? But we went back to that universe. Yes, and apparently they have a gummy-based economy because we found another hugely popular gummy snack, gummy ringworms. Right, Harry Bow ah, yes. gummy ringworms. Uh, if you want to. <coughs> Okay, I'm still, I'm, okay. I'm soaking on Kool Raid. <coughs> okay, hold your hands up. Hold your hands up, like Mama told you. <coughs> and my lip. Can you put put my lip together? I'd okay. rather not do that again. Um, so, so basically, I like a gummy thing, man. Now, hold on. Don't eat those. That's not what I, we're doing I'm, here. I want to smell them. What we're doing here? Maybe just one. Just one. Is ringworms are a lot more fun because got a yellow one. But you gotta put the ringworms in places where they typically show up. Now, well, that's why I wore shorts. Oh gosh, 
Yeah, yeah. cuz you get you can get a ringworm on, on you. You go to the gym and you put your uh you know, you do one of those leg extensions and you put your uh your knee on something that a bunch of sweaty people been putting their knees on and you'll get a ringworm. Do you get one of those sticky ones right there? Put one on there. Now, when I was dating Christy, um we went to a concert and we, it, it was a, it was like a more folksy moment in the concert. We were seated, and she reached over and affectionately put her hand on the back of my neck, and like to kind of like fiddle with my hair a little bit. And then she pulled her hand back, and she said, "There's something on your neck." And then she said, "It feels it feels like a ring," and I had a ringworm on the back of my neck. Show show the people. Uh, Pretty that's embarrassing. Fine. That's good. Especially when you're on a date. So I was like, lick it, baby. <laughs> lick it off, see if you can lick it off. Was it that raised? Because I think you, pre you probably would have noticed it if it was that raised. <laughs> Typically they're not that raised, but gummy, a gummy little things ointment, gotta be a little bit more little sensational. ointment got rid of it. It was fine. Now, um, obviously the most fun part about this is, is, is getting it off of yourself. Yeah, so lick, well, lick it off my neck. Well, hold on, I gotta see if I can lick it off myself first. <sighs> oh gosh, you really gotta. <laughs> A lot of inner thigh action happening. It's a weird way to start the season. Between the French kisses and this. I got it. Okay, all right, now. Oh, that's you, gummy. You want a little bit of this action? I don't want to lick the back of your neck, man. I mean, listen, I do have a line. That line does include licking things off my own knees, touching my best friend's chocolate tongue with my chocolate tongue. But it doesn't include licking the back of your neck. I'm sorry, you know. That's, I'm saving that for 2021. It, it it is a little bit hairy. Really? Yeah. That's not that's not great. Apparently, kids in uh, this other dimension have much closer relationships. They're willing to lick off of each other. I I, I like this. Uh, I, again, anything gummy is going to get a big thumbs up from me. Even if it's a ringworm. Well, I mean, you have a point. Uh, but I do. I understand that uh, I'm biased towards gummy things, and so I'm going to let you. Make the call on this one. Well, my call is date someone who finds a ringworm on you and then continues to date you. Oh, that's that's my advice. But yeah. for this, I'm saying this is a snack offension. Well, we've learned that in some worlds, fungal infections are celebrated, corn is a vegetable and a protein, and French kissing can be delicious. Happy start to season 17. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Rich. I'm Sarah, and we're celebrating our 10 year wedding anniversary in Venice, Italy. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. Go there while you can. Happy anniversary. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, because of the water levels. Yeah. <laughs> Click the top link to watch. Oh, you dude. knew something about their relationship. <laughs> Go there while you're still together. Gosh. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us do the Kool-Aid Hamster Challenge and get Mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. All right, so the first step, you um, press uh, select. How high do you want it? Big. Big high. All right, we need any sugar. Nicole, where's my sugar, sugar? I didn't hate any color sugar.